All right, the next technique I'm going to tell you guys about is one of my favorites, and it's a way that I've adapted playing the bass guitar to sound like the string bass. You know, we all like to, um, we all can visualize, we all can imagine, you seeing some guy up there with the string bass, ga-dunga, dunga, 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 you know, you just, you get the essence of what string bass, the vibe of what it is, right? Well, I like to do that on the electric bass, and I found a way to do it, and I call it the doghouse, okay? What we have is, it's a combination of the palm mute, and it also uses um, dead notes, okay? Now... We start, we'll just, we'll, we'll, we'll do it over, over of a blues pattern because this is usually the application is in, is in jump blues and things like this. Um, so we'll be in the key of G. And the pitches that we'll be going to be using in this, in this exercise will be G, B, D, uh, E natural, and F. Okay, those are the, the, the pitches that we'll be using. But we'll be bouncing off of the G with a dead note. So in between every pitch of the walking bass line or the, pat the blues pattern bass line, there is a muted G pluck. It's not a pitch. It's not an open G. It's muted. It's just a, it's just a, um, a little a clicky kind of a sound. But we don't want it too clicky either. We want it to have a little bit of a, more of a, a thud to it, okay? So it's like a, a kind of a high-pitched thud. <laughs> right? You start to get that visualization. You start to be able to see, you know, um, a, a guy up there on, on the bass, you know, and, and, and you start to be able to visually um, see the string bass and it being plucked into making that sound. Now we can move up to the four chord, uh, which would be C. I would move it up. On, on the, I, would, I, would, I would move it up to the C on the E string because that would enable me still to have my G um, for my dead note. So I'd be going, it'd be in G. Get it? Back to the G. Uh, this will be the turnaround. It'll go to the 2, A, uh, climbing up for, uh, A, B, C, C sharp, D, and then skipping uh, C sharp on the way down to C natural, B, and back to A. And then for, for giggles, for fun, we'll put, a, we'll put a little, another cool, interesting turnaround. We'll go... Okay, and that's going to be uh, G, um, B flat, A, A flat, and back to G. Okay, so the whole doghouse technique exercise goes as follows. Up to the four chord. Back to the one. Two, five, that's it. There you have it, the doghouse. Have some fun with that.